Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, and today we're going to talk about the Bouge RV 200 watt monocrystalline solar panel. Now for the last year, I've been running the 180 watt panel from Bouge RV on, the, on my teardrop camping trailer. This panel has operated very well over the last year, and a Bouge RV has offered to replace it with their new 200 watt monocrystalline solar panel. Now this 200 watt panel has got some definite improvements and some features that I think it would make, uh, make it a very advantageous choice for recreational vehicles, campers, and outdoor solar production. Now in full disclosure, this panel was provided to me by Bouge RV in exchange for a video review, but my opinions are my own uh, without any outside influence. Now what makes this 200 watt panel different? The big factor is that it consists of a nine bus bar construction. The bus bars, they're these metal strips that uh, run between the cells and connect everything together. Most panels will have a five bus bar uh, construction per cell, but in a nine bus bar panel, the, these individual solar cells are actually cut in half and connected in series along these individual bus bars. So you get more, um, more cell contact per bus bar. This allows the cells to be more densely packed together and this panel is more shade tolerant. But the big advantage is that the overall panel becomes more efficient. This panel has a 22.8% solar conversion efficiency, uh, which is one of the highest rated efficiencies uh, on the market today. And if you compare it to my other panel, the 180 watt panel, uh, you'll notice that it's gonna be the same size, but it'll actually produce 10% more power. Size-wise, this panel is 54.72 inches by 27.8 inches by 1.38 inches and weighs just under 23 pounds. Peak power is a 200 watts, open circuit voltage is 21.62 volts and the maximum power voltage is 17.98 volts. On the rear of the panel is a weatherproof junction box with a positive and a negative lead terminated to weatherproof MC4 connectors. Inside that junction box, there is a 15 amp series fuse and reverse polarity diode in the box for protection. So you can hook, mul you can hook up multiple panels in series or in a parallel configuration. The aluminum frame is pre-drilled and is compatible with, uh, with their Z bracket. So you can mount it in a variety of situations, say on the roof of your camper or your RV or home or other place. Bouge RV also offers their one-on-one -on -one solar support to help design and build a solar solution that is right for you. Uh, these, it comes with professional guides and online help to get you just uh, through the process of selecting and installing your Bouge RV solar setup. So what's the plan with this panel? Well, we're gonna take the old panel off the camper, replace it with the new one, and then later on in the video, we're actually gonna take a road trip and see how well it performs on the road. But first, let's get the old panel off and compare the two. I got the old panel off the roof of the trailer and right away you can kind of see the difference between the 180 watt panel and the 200 watt panel. Uh, namely, the uh, 180 watt panel, my old panel, is about three inches longer than the uh, 200 watt panel. And that's one of the advantages of the nine bus bar construction is the the cells can be packed more densely than with the five bus bar. But I thought I would show you what the key difference is between a five bus bar and a nine bus bar construction. If you look at the cells, the cells are these squares uh, right here, and you can count one, two, three, four, five. Uh, there's five bus bars uh, connecting these cells in their, in their groups. If you look at the other panel, the nine bus bar panel, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bus bars that connect the cells in their, in their groups. So you get a more densely packed uh, solar, uh, uh, solar panel with the nine bus bar configuration than you do with the five bus bar configuration.
okay, it's the next day, and um, I've really been kind of struggling to do a, uh, figure out a way to do a quantitative test between a 180 watt panel and uh, the 200 watt panel. Uh, so what I did is I set both of them on the trailer, on the, on the roof of the trailer. What I'm gonna do is an A-B test between the two. I'll switch between the two panels to see which one, you know, what, what, their, pow what their power collection rates are between uh, the 180 watt panel, uh, which is the one uh, on the far end, and then the uh, 200 watt panel, which is, is closer to the uh, uh, sun, sunshade here. This is the 180 watt panel, my old panel, 19.9 volts. Uh, 13. Point, oh, let's see, 5.77 amps, 77.4 watts. It's generating at this moment. Panel 17.3 volts, 6.45 amps, 86.9 watts. With that quick test uh, comparing the two panels, it seems like the 200 watt panel is collecting a little bit more power than the 180 watt panel, uh, 5.87 versus 6.4 uh, amps or I think it was like 75 versus 86 watts. Uh, the sun, there's a little bit of a of, of, um, cloud there, you know, that, that that's obscuring the sun. So tried to take those readings when uh, the conditions were, that seemed to be similar. But the one thing I did notice between the two panels is that the 180 watt panel has a higher maximum power voltage than the uh, 200 watt panel so that might cause an issue as we get towards the um, you know dawn or dusk when uh, because one of the things you need is you need your panel voltage to be higher than your battery voltage in order for an MPPT charge controller to kick in and um, if this um, if, if we're at a low sunlight period you know right at dawn or towards dusk or in a high shade environment that might, you know, that might drop the panel voltage of the 200 watt panel down below what the charge is in your batteries. So we'll have to see. Uh, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna do a road test with the new panel and uh, see how it uh, performs. This weekend we took the uh, Bouge RV uh, 9BB 200 watt solar panel out for a test drive. It's installed on the camper and uh, we're here at Governor Dodge State Park in southwestern Wisconsin. Uh, the uh, weather was actually uh, very conducive to uh, generating solar power. Uh, Saturday we had beautiful sunny skies and uh, even though the panel is flat mounted and sitting here on the, in the campsite at, uh, at, the, at, it, at the peak sun, we were able to generate 145 watts of power, which was really good. I think that's a, that's a good number uh, to expect with a flat mounted panel in a situation like this. A lot of trees around here, but there's no leaves on the trees yet. So we did get a really good sun exposure. Uh, this morning on Sunday morning, it's full clouds and um, 
not a really good solar producing day, but still the panel is able to push out 10 to 13 watts of power in this, in this heavy overcast sky. So that's, I think that's one of the nice things about these larger panels is that um, they've got a lot bigger collector on them. So even though you're in a situation where there's not much, you know, not much solar energy, you can still um, get a, generate a little bit of power with the panels. Uh, one of the only, one of the concerns I had with this panel is that open voltage and the max power voltage were a little bit lower than my 180 watt panel. I think the 21.9 volts open circuit and 17.9 uh, volts uh, max power voltage uh, for the 200 watt panel here had me a little concerned that would and we get into these low light situations, you know, say like dawn to dusk or maybe in a, in a shady spot, would that drop down the maximum power point below the voltage of the battery and it stopped producing power? I found that to not quite be the case. Panel in the bright sun, the panel was operating between, I'm going to say 16.9 volts and about 17.9 volts. It was just right in that, right in that, in that stretch, uh, uh, up and down a little bit depending on solar conditions. So it uh, it, it it worked very well, and it it uh, even as we got towards uh, dusk, the um, the panel, like I said, the panel was still able to uh, maintain a, a good voltage for the charge controller. So. Um, it's good there. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep uh, my eye on this panel as we run it through the summer in a variety of shady conditions, and I will report back on on its sort of its long-term use. But overall, uh, the Bouger V 200 watt uh, panel is is working very well. Held up. Uh, well on the roads, uh, 70 miles an hour. Uh, didn't have any issues with vibration or anything like that. So it's it's a very roadworthy panel, perfect for your motorhome, RVs, trailers, things like that. Uh, really, I'm I'm pleased with it, and I, I think it's going to be a good replacement to the 180 watt panel that I, I used last year. So that's my review of the uh, Bouge RV. 200 watt 9BB or 9 bus bar uh, monocrystalline solar panel. Uh, questions, comments, leave them down in, uh, in the comment area below. I'd love to hear those. Maybe we can answer those. And um, for that, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.